Hello and welcome. Welcome to Yoga Solutions with me, Mark J. Aquaviva. Um, uh, this weekend I'm going to put on a workshop dedicated to um, discovering the movements of the sacrum, the pelvis, the thigh bone. It's, it's a really important area. It's basically um, one that, if you're into Kundalini yoga, you know what I'm talking about. The, it's freeing up the base of the spine is a key aspect to freeing up your entire movement and your, and your body. It's a tricky thing to do because it's, um, if you have any kind of dysfunction there, um, letting it go can feel dangerous because if, you, if you've got a holding pattern that is putting that, the sacroiliac joint under duress, um, then what you'll be doing, what your body will nat quite naturally be doing is holding off dear life. And you'll have tension around the base of the spine, you'll have tension in the groins. It, you'll have hip tension that is with you all the time, whether you notice it or not. Um, it'll manifest in, in terms of, um, you know, not being able to sit comfortably cross-legged and uh, getting, you know, the, the only comfortable way you can sit is by slumping, uh, for example. Um, uh, these are all symptoms of a uh, jammed up base of the spine. And um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm going to run a workshop this weekend going deep into this. Uh, I've discovered new clarity around the whole thing. And uh, I thought I'd share a little bit of, with, of it with you here on my new decisions. So, um, the thing I'm going to call my workshop is um, what the sacrum and hips like to do. <laughs> Because uh, that, that's the thing I'm on at the moment, is, is um, getting clear about how different parts of it's like to interact with the world, you know, uh, in different situations. Um, and, and one of the things I've been doing quite a lot recently is getting people to uh, relate out into space with their elbows. And that, and that causes some natural response, rather than just lifting an elbow and having it. You engage outwards in space from the elbow and it brings you into your centre causes you to uh, work from a, a better place, basically. And it causes you to use the ground to be in space and get your breath to link in with the action. So that's an example. But um, when, it, when it comes to uh, deeper places in the body, like the chakras and uh, joints in the spine, um, uh, well, sections of the spine and joints that the spine make with the rest of the body, sacrum is one, the rib cage and thoracic spine is another. Um, another one would be a head. Um, these joints have ways that they like to move, and it's not the normal way that we do it, because uh, my baseline instruction for all my um, yoga, uh, a way of youth discovering um, the thing that I'm talking about, the experience that I consider to be yoga, it, it happens when the spine is no longer responsible for carrying and holding your weight. It'll be because you worked something better out in relationship to the ground, uh, the space you occupy through the breath and its release, and uh, finding support through your bones, through your joints, through your structure, um, which precludes any kind of holding of your weight with those joints. Because when a joint holds your weight, um, it, you can't find support through it. It's busy uh, gripping. But it's busy holding on uh, it's to stop you from falling over. Um, when you have support through a joint, you're getting support through structure, but a joint is a fluid space within, uh, between structures, and if you can find support through that fluid space, that fluid space remains mobile, so the joint can continue to operate as it would should you decide to move. So basically you get, you get freedom to move whilst feeling supported through your entire body. Um, that, that's, the, the, that's what I consider to be a genuine experience of a yoga posture, is when you've got that, something like that going. And um, the sacrum and the pelvis is a key, key, key area for, um, to release, to be able to release through safely. Because the reason that most people are tense around the base of the spine is because it's unsafe. It's unsafe to let go because of the way they're holding themselves. So it's a bit of a chicken and egg thing. So uh, play with this um, gently. Don't overdo it. Don't, don't, 
if you suddenly feel intense gripping around the area, it's probably time to come out because you, you don't want to be um, releasing a joint and then um, in weight all of a sudden. The, the, that's the sort of thing that causes back problems. Um, so it, it's an exploration, a gentle exploration of what can be, how the joint might like to move. And that needs to be your intent. If you follow this, you must have a very sort of kind intent, a firm kindness. Okay. So um, let me do something to demonstrate. Is that one? No, this one. No. <laughs> Let's get the right. There we go. That'll do.